Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at plotting of a triangle and its derivative. We will plot the triangle signal and its derivative. So the triangle function is given by this graph. Uh, so the value of the signal is 1 at uh, t is equal to 1. And at t equal to 0, it is 0 and t equal to 2, it is 0. So it basically has two ramp signals, one in with positive slope, other one with negative slope and it has a support from time support from 0 to 2. So given this triangle signal, we want to actually plot this one using MATLAB and we also want to plot its derivative that is it looks like the following signal. So this is the uh, derivative of the triangle signal. It is basically like a square wave with just one period. So the values again is 1 from the interval within the interval 0 to 1 and the value is minus 1 for the interval uh, 1 to 2. So we want to plot these two signals. So based on the definition of the triangle function uh, and on this graph we can define the triangle function as follows that is triangle of t is equal to t that is a, a ramp signal with this positive slope 1 within the interval 0 to 1 and then it is equal to 2 minus t within the interval 1 to 2 and 0 elsewhere. And we can also represent this triangle function in terms of the ramp signals that is we can directly use the ramp signal or ramp function uh, we have written previously in previous videos uh, for generating this triangle function. So triangle of t can be written as r of t for the first interval 0 to 1 and r of t minus 2 times r of t minus 1 for the second interval and 0 elsewhere. So for generating purposes let us write r of t as the, so the function on triangle of t as two components that is we will represent triangle of t as r1 of t plus r2 of t r1 of t is the ramp signal in the first interval so it can be written as r of t multiplied by a rectangle within this time support so that means r of t multiplied by u of t minus u of t minus 1 so outside this interval this uh, support from 0 to 1 it will be 0 and then r2 of t can be written as r of t minus 2 times r of t minus 1 that is the value so this one will boil down to 2 minus t and then we have the time support that is u of t minus 1 to u of t minus 2 that is it is from 1 to 2 so this uh, rectangle window gives us the time support from 1 to 2 so by using these two definitions we can easily generate r1 r2 and then add them to find the triangle function and to get the derivative triangle dash of t we can use the that is derivative with respect to time uh, in matlab we, what we will do is we use an approximation that is we can use the difference signal or the difference uh, function in matlab of this function of the vector corresponding to triangle of t and then since this difference is basically a, uh, first order first difference that is a discrete difference so we need to divide it with the time interval that is uh, delta t whatever uh, sampling interval we use for generating a vector in the MATLAB code we have to divide this uh, derivative with that sampling interval so that we get the actual derivative because this will be the slope of the uh, signal now let us look at the MATLAB code so in this first we generate the time vector that is the time support and then using this time support t we generate the ramp signal using our my ramp function so uh, the inputs are time vector t and the shift value is 0 uh, for the first uh, time signal and the scale is 1 so we get the ramp signal uh, r of t which is basically r of t is equal to t into u of t now uh, for the time uh, support from 0 to 1 we need two unit step signals so we generate them u of t is uh, unit step signal with the time support t and the starting point 0 and similarly another unit step signal with starting point 1 and then we take a difference between them and then multiply it with the ramp signal to get our r1 of t and then for the second component what we do is we generate another unit step signal that starts at 2 and then uh, we have the ramp signal that is r2 of t uh, difference between ramp uh, r of t and r of t minus 1 so we generate this ramp t1 which is basically r of t minus 1 because my ramp we use the time uh, in the function my ramp we use the time vector t and then the starting point as 1 or we shift it by 1 or a delay equal to 1 and then the scaling factor of 2 so we find the difference between these two ramp signals and we get that uh, r of t minus 
we get this r of t minus 2 times r of t minus 1 this r of t minus 2 times r of t minus 1 and then we have to generate this uh, time window that is from t, uh, one, time equal to 1 to time equal to 2 t equal to 1 to t equal to 2 so that is what we do here u1 t minus u2 t so when we do this element by element product for this uh, two vectors we get our r2 of t so once we have r1 of t and r2 of t we can add them to get our triangle and as we discussed uh, just now we can also generate the derivative of this triangle as n times that is 1 by 1 by n that is basically n times that is the number of samples n times uh, or n is basically the inverse of the time difference so uh, inverse of the time sampling interval so that means it is a sampling rate so n times the difference function of the triangle this difference is the first difference basically a discrete difference or in other words first backward difference so it will give a vector uh, that gives the gaps between or uh, the difference between consecutive values of the vector triangle so uh, it is not the actual derivative so we for that purpose we need to multiply it with n so we get our derivative uh, that is n times difference of triangle so now we can plot this one also note that this derivative signal is uh, having value the number of values is one less by one value compared to the actual signal so this is the triangle signal uh, obviously it starts at 0 and it's a slope 1 and uh, its value reaches 1 at uh, time equal to 1 and then it has, will have a negative slope and the signal is 2 minus t and it stop and it becomes 0 at 2 and it is 0 afterwards and then we can also find the uh, derivative of the signal which is basically slope of these two lines so for the first uh, part that is from 0 to 1 the slope is positive plus 1 and for the second part from 1 to 2 the slope is negative and minus 1 so it is minus so we have the square wave type signal of one period this is the triangle signal and this is the derivative of the triangle signal so to summarize in this video we have looked at the plotting of the triangle signal and its derivative so the triangle signal is defined as a follows that is it is given by the value t for the interval 0 to 1 and 2 minus t that is the negative slope in the interval from 1 to 2 and 0 elsewhere uh, so analytically it can be related to analytically it can be related to the ramp signal this triangle of t is equal to r of t for the interval from 0 to 1 and r of t minus 2 times r of t minus 1 for the interval 1 to 2 and 0 elsewhere so by using this definition we can easily plot the signal in matlab uh, for getting the time supports from that say from 0 to 1 or 1 to 2 we can use the rectangle windows uh, which are basically defined as the differences between uh, consecutive or two unit step signals so based on this logic we can generate the uh, signal and also for using the difference function in MATLAB we can generate the derivative of the triangle signal so as a first step we first gen uh, we generate the time vector t uh, and then uh, we use the myram function to generate the ramp signal that is r of t and then for generating the time support from 0 to 1 we use the unit step signals and then multiply the difference to the ramp signal to get our r1 of t because we split the triangle function as r1 of t plus r2 of t thus we have r1 of t and the second step to generate r2 of t we generate this unit step signal starting at 2 and then our r of t minus 1 that is a shift of 1 and then a scaling of 2 so we find the difference between r of t and 2 times r of t minus 1 and then multiply it with the window or rectangular window from 1 to 2 so that we get our r2 of t and then we add these two signals r1 of t and r2 of t to get our triangle of t or the triangle signal and then we can also do the use the difference function in matlab to find the first uh, the backward difference of this triangle function and then multiply it with the sampling rate to get our uh, derivative signal so these two graphs uh, show us of the uh, required signals that is this one is the triangle signal uh, with the positive slope in the first half and negative slope in the second half and then uh, the triangle uh, der derivative of the triangle with the again uh, with the value equal to 1 in the first half and value equal to minus 1 in the second half which are basically re reflecting the uh, reflecting the slopes of the, uh, the sides of the triangle thanks for watching